In this video, we will look at how can we include interaction into our regression model. So before I introduce the methodology of how can we include this interaction to our model, let me do a short review about model building. So far, we've learned another te uh, different technique to ch modify our model in order to uh, feed our data set better. So the first technique we are learning is how can we include the higher order. So for instance, in this example, we are looking at what will affect the car price. So we are considering the rating, the model, the make, and the year. And if after we do the scatter plot, so using rating against the price, uh, and we can find that there is a curvature in the scatter plot, then we consider to add the rating square into our model. So that is one technique to uh, modify our model to fit our data set by including the higher order. And another technique we want to learn is we sometimes we are considering to in include the interaction into our model. So when should we include the interaction? So when you, based on your intuition, think two explanatory variables may have interaction, so you can consider to add the interaction into your model. After you run the regression model, if your interaction term is not significantly different from zero, and you can delete your interaction, keep your original data. However, if the interaction term tend to be very significant, so you need to, uh, you should keep the interaction term into your regression model. So now let's look at the, uh, this example. What will affect the car price? So again, we're considering the rating and the make of the car. So obviously, the make of the car is the categorical variable, and we have three levels, Chevrolet, Ferrari, and uh, Jaguar. And uh, we are considering the last uh, make as our basic level, so which means we will cr uh, create uh, two dummy variables. So we have three levels, so we will create uh, two dummy variables. So one is represent to the Chevrolet, another is represent to Ferrari. And so our last, type, last make is our basic level. So here, I've already helped you to make the, ter uh, uh, define, uh, make the dummy coding. So the first observation is a Chevrolet, so that is one zero, and the sixth observation is uh, the fifth observation is Ferrari, so the code is uh, zero one, and the last starting from a uh, tenth observation, and we start to have our basic level, so that's zero and zero. So now you may considering that the make of the car should have some interaction with our rating, right? Uh, absolutely, meant people will think the Ferrari should have a better rating than the Chevrolet. So you may consider to add the interaction term to your model. So that's why I add a rating times our Chevrolet and rating time Ferrari. So now we create these two uh, interaction variables. How can we get the observations? So actually, it's pretty simple. Based on the interaction term, so you will know the interaction equal to rating times the Chevrolet. So the observation, the first observation is the first observation uh, Chevrolet value times the rating. So let's create the first one. So equal to Chevrolet times rating. So we got 18 for the first observation. Then you can, using the powerful function of the Excel, move your mouse to the right-down corner and drag it down to the last observation. So now you're successfully creating one, the inter interaction uh, variables value, rating times chef rate. So you will do the same way for the rating times Ferrari. So equal to rating times Ferrari. Push Enter. And to this cell again, move your mouse to the right, right down corner and drag it down. So now you have rating times Ferrari, rating times Chevrolet. So you can start to run the regression. So now there is one problem. So price is our Y variable. Rating is our X1. However, the rating is far is separated from X2, X3, X4, and X5. So what you need to do is copy move this column and uh, insert it. So now you have rating 
uh, price and uh, x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5. So all five x are connect to each other. So there is no uh, se no column separate the x. So now we can run the data analysis. So data data analysis and find the regression and I click OK. So the input Y range is our D column and the input X range is our E to I column and check the label and uh, you can check all the box, five box but again, when you do the diagnostic, you need to probably choose which plot you will use. And so, new worksheet play in the regression. So, click OK. So, now we got our results, our output. So let's look at the significance of our interaction term. So absolutely, uh, unfortunately, after we got the result, so we got the p-value for the inter interaction term is larger than 0.05, so they are not significant. So which means adding the interaction term to our model didn't didn't help us to improve the quality of our model. So you may go back to your original data, delete the interaction term, keep your original data set. So that is a video about how can you uh, create the interaction term into your model and how can you do the regression to the model with the interaction term.